Hello everyone, this is Tom from Dick with the guitars in Utrecht, the Netherlands. And today we are taking a look at the also oh iconic Gretsch White Falcon. This is the Gretsch G6136T 1959 Vintage Select Edition 1959 reissue White Falcon. A mouthful, but basically a 1959 reissue of the White Falcon made in Japan. So this is really one of their top tier type of stuff. Um, because in Japan is where they really built uh, the highest end guitars for Gretsch and this one is no exception. Um, in this 1959 rendition with the 1959 type of specs, which is probably the most iconic rendition of this iconic model. Um, so many famous players ranging from Neil Young to um, Malcolm Young, non-related by the way. Um, Sylvain Sylvain, Stephen Stills, also from Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young and many many more for good reason because this is not just a beautiful guitar when it comes to the looks but also a beautiful guitar when it comes to the sound and uh, how it plays. So let's get into the specs. Um, we got a um, three ply maple top with 1959 tr uh, trestle bracing is what they are calling it. So the same type of bracing that they did in 1959. Um, multiply maple back and sides underneath this obviously starking beautiful white finish. Vintage white to be exact and obviously with the gold purfling slash binding all around all around the body on the top back sides also inside the sound holes if you can see that around the fingerboard neck pocket headstock gold all over truss rod cover <laughs> obviously so this is definitely eye-catching and this will get you noticed um so yeah Vintage white, like I just said. Um, we got two TV Jones uh, Filtertron pickups, Filtertron Classic pickups for that iconic sound that uh, you can really only get from these type of pickups. These are humbuckers, but they really have their own sound and personality. Um, we got a um, all gold Gretsch branded Bixby tailpiece which is works incredibly smoothly and very nicely. Got a gold bridge with also a very unique Gretsch type of spec. The saddles are kind of roller saddles and you can also adjust the spacing in between the strings. And um, yeah, you can obviously also lower the bridge or heighten the bridge. The base made out of wood, out of ebony to match the fingerboard, which by the way is also made out of ebony. Um, the controls are um, as followed. This is a three-way pickup selector switch. Pretty basic and pretty simple. Um, bridge pickup, middle position, so both pickups. Neck pickup. This little switch is actually a tone control or tone switch. Um, in the middle, as it is uh, right now, it is wide open so if there were to be a tone up then that would mean that it would be at 10. Um, if you put downwards then you get a uh, low tone so to speak not all the way at zero but um, kind of like a two-ish I would say kind of dark um, but um, still a bit of a tone and then up is medium level and I would say that on a tone knob that will be at around like six or so um, kind of in between a really nice sound um, but yeah no tone control on either of these knobs um, because those are actually all for the volume because this is a volume control for both of the pickups see yes there we go there's a sitting frame so volume control for the bridge pickup and volume control for the neck pickup and then this is a master volume control um kind of a unique uh, uh, type of control layout uh, very unique to the folks at the Gretsch then obviously the fingerboard beautifully dark ebony wood with the iconic Gretsch thumbnail inlays here on the side done in mother of pearl true mother of pearl no pearloid or anything on this beautiful guitar um, and then you got the white falcon plaque on the face of the headstock done in gold along with the Gretsch logo in sparkle gold as well as the truss rod cover 
also sparkle gold. If I flip it over, it reveals the Grover Imperial diecast tuners with the Imperial tuning buttons. Just absolutely gorgeous. Multiply binding on the face of the headstock again with gold sparkle to match the other gold sparkle on the entire guitar. And then obviously last thing to mention, we got the actual white falcon here on the pick guard with the Gretsch logo. Again, just a super, super cool and iconic guitar that just plays and sounds absolutely amazing. Um, so let's get to that part. But first, if you enjoyed this demo, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel for more cool weekly demos of cool electric guitars like this. Um, cool bass guitars, acoustic guitars, amplifiers, even all that really cool stuff. If you are interested in this White Falcon, um, be sure to head over to the links in the description. One of those links will take you to the listing of this guitar on a website, as well as a link that will take you to the listing of this guitar on a refurb shop, if you, if you so happen to be an international buyer. Um, also be sure to like us and follow us on our socials, Instagram and Facebook. Links are uh, also in the description. Without further ado, let's hear what this White Falcon sounds like. I'm going to be uh, playing it through the 1966 Fender Super Reverb. First going to be giving you some clean tones and then I'll be giving you some dirty tones for which I will be using the WA Centavo overdrive pedal, kind of like a clone clone. Um, so yeah, let's get to that part and take this beautiful Gretsch White Falcon for a spin.
Thank you. 